Good afternoon. Welcome to the families of our promoted members, the Tedesco and DiCarlo family, Mayor Rigo, invited guests, friends of the Revere Fire Department, Fire Department members and our retirees, a warm welcome to all. Now would you please stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance, Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Let us start by recognizing our city officials present with us this afternoon. As always, our honorable mayor of, for the city of Revere, Brian Arrigo. And our Ward 2 Counselor, Ira Novoselsky. I'd like to recognize uh, members of Local 926, Revere Firefighters Union, uh, President Kevin O'Hara, um, Secretary Treasurer, Captain Robert Fatuna, and Captain Joe Lorano. Thank you. Our off-duty members uh, here with us in attendance, uh, Deputy Glenn Rich, Captain Joe Lorano, and Firefighter Bill Petrilli. And to our retirees who I see in the audience, uh, my, my old Deputy Chief, George Tulleri, and his lovely wife, Yvonne. Thank you. My pal, the old real deal, Dan Floyd. Standing next to him, his old chauffeur, John Gabarino. And we got Deputy Mike Viviano back there. Mike. Promotional ceremonies are one of the most joyful ceremonies performed in the fire service. These two members standing here before you today have worked extremely hard to achieve their respective positions. They have displayed discipline and sacrifice by working to achieve their goals, by studying full time for a year or more in most cases. They absorb the cost of purchasing the numerous volumes of study materials and books required to prepare for the exam out of pocket. This expense can run each candidate a couple of thousands of dollars. This does not include the $200 civil service exam fee charge for the privilege of sitting for the promotional exam. These offices commit themselves to prepare for this exam without any guarantee in the end that they will ever be promoted. It takes a special person to sign on and commit to this difficult competitive examination process. We are all very grateful and proud for your continuing commitment as leaders on the Revere Fire Department and we salute you. Without question, the most costly sacrifice made by these fire officers was not the money expended in preparation for the exam. The most costly sacrifice made was the investment of their time. Throughout the year, these fire office officers invested their time studying for the exam while missing out on valuable time that could have been spent with their families. However, they did it to better provide for them. And let us not forget that these sacrifices were also borne by the families. These families with us today provided these fire officers with the patience, love, and support necessary for them to successfully attain their promotional goal on the Revere Fire Department. We congratulate your family members for all of their love and support they provided you with throughout this challenging process for a, well, a job well done. We thank you all. And now I give to you our Honorable Mayor, who's been an ex extremely strong supporter of the Revere Fire Department, Mayor Brian Arrigo. Thank you, Chief Bright. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, and I can't agree more that events that recognize the talent, commitment, and courage of our public servants are always the most pleasing aspects of certainly my job. Uh, promotions by their very nature signify the completion of one phase and the commencement of a new, more challenging and more responsible phase of a person's career. 
So we celebrate today that important step in the career of two members of the Revere Fire Department, Captain Tom Tedisco and Lieutenant Michael DiCarlo, Jr., as they each assume a rank that will impose duties of leadership and reflect their many years of dedicated service. A firefighter's life is not lived in isolation. The firefighter's life means a certain level of worry for their family when the workday beckons. It imposes difficulties in the household schedule. It means that the celebration of holidays, birthdays, anniversaries, and other important life events will sometimes be subject to the unexpected call of duty. And so we extend, extend a special thank you to the families of our newly promoted firefighters. To the Tedisco's, Joanne, Stephen, Brian, thank you for sharing Tom with our city. To his mother June and sister Debbie, thank you for the support and inspiration you have provided to him. To, grandmother, to grandsons, Riley, Michael, and Nathan, our grandchildren, Riley, Mike, Michael, and Nathan, I can tell you how proud you can be of your grandpa for all he has done for our community. And to the DiCarlos, thank you. Yours is a family well acquainted with the demands of a firefighter's life. Renee, you have blessed our city with three children who wear the mantle of public protector. With Michael now a captain, Ryan a firefighter, and Leanne a 911 call taker. To Grandfather Charles, I tell you how proud you can be of your family. Uh, with that, I believe Chief Bright uh, will commence the, uh, the oath uh, portion of our ceremony. Thank you, Mayor. Before we do the swearing in, I'd like to recognize uh, Deputy Chief Tom Tedesco's family here with us, his wife Joanne, his mother June, sister Donna, and her husband Tony, who, who couldn't make it, um, Tommy's sons Stephen and his wife Sarah, and their children Riley, Michael, Nathan, and Tommy's son Brian, and his uncle John, and also with us his sister-in-law Janet, Joyce, and Judy, and his brother-in-law, Jeff, welcome. And would you like to do the swearing in? We'll do the swearing in for uh, the deputy, please. Deputy Chief Thomas S. Tedesco, 61 years old, 28 years of service, appointed to the Revere, to the reserve list September 2nd, 1990. Permanent firefighter appointment, November 13th, 1994. Promoted to Lieutenant, May 27, 2001, promoted to the rank of captain, December 20th, 2004, promoted to deputy, deputy chief, October 28th, 2018. Deputy chief, please raise your right hand and repeat after me using your own name after I say aye. Aye. Aye, Thomas Tedisco. Solemnly swear. Solemnly swear. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me, All the duties incumbent upon me. as Deputy Chief for the City of Revere Fire Department, according to the best of my abilities and understanding, agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution and laws of the Commonwealth. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Pinning Deputy Tedesco's badge will be his grandson, Riley. Granddaughter. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Granddaughter. Ouch.
I'd like to now recognize Captain Mike DeCarlo's family with us this afternoon. His mother Renee and grandfather Charles Daly, his brother Ryan and sister Leanne, his aunt Alice Cataldo and aunt Jackie LeClaire, and his girlfriend Catherine Dame. Welcome. <laughs> Captain Michael J. DeCarlo Jr., 45 years old, with 20 years of service, Appointed to the reserve list, January 4th, 1998. Permanent firefighter appointment date, April 4th, 1999. Promoted to lieutenant, June 14th, 2015. Promoted to captain, October 28th, 2018. <laughs> I, Michael DeCarlo, solemnly swear, solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially, that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform, discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me, all the duties incumbent upon me as captain for the City of Rivera Fire Department, as captain of the City of Rivera Fire Department, according to the best of my abilities according, and understanding, according to the best of my abilities and understanding, agreeably to the rules and regulations, agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution and laws of the Commonwealth. To the, of the Constitution, of the Constitu Constitution <laughs> and laws of the Commonwealth. And laws of the Commonwealth. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Captain. Thank you. Pinning Captain DeCarlo's badge will be his mother, Renee, and his grandfather, Charles Daly. And I know his father is smiling down on him right now, too. I've had many opportunities working with both Deputy Chief Tom Tedesco in emergency management and Captain Mike DiCarlo on fire duty in Group 2, Engine 5 at the Freeman Street Fire Station over the years. Both of these men are excellent fire officers and I look forward to continuing working with them in their new assignment in the years ahead. I'd like to thank everybody here for attending. Special thanks to Mayor Rigo and his staff for preparing for this ceremony. Uh, I'd like to recognize also HR Director John Viarella in the audience with us here today. <clears throat> Thank you to City Clerk Ashley Melnick for being here to administer the oath. This concludes our ceremony. Please join us for some light refreshments provided by the Mayor Brian Arrigo's office. Thank you all and have a great day.